Hey guys, I've um I've been overseas for the last four weeks. I went over to uh, to Ireland, rented a car, drove around the country, came back just a couple of days ago, and I was um I was looking at the date today, and I was like, man, it's been exactly one month today uh, since I made a video for this channel. So, um, yeah, so here it is, and uh, I thought today I'd just talk really uh, briefly about um, one of my favorite features of FreeBSD. And if you're considering coming over from Linux to FreeBSD, you've probably heard of this before as a big selling point. And I think it's a big selling point is Pudlier, which is, um, it's a, it's a package repository builder, a local, uh, local package repository builder. Um, and what that basically means is, um, you know, in FreeBSD, you've got, uh, basically two ways to install programs. One is the old fashioned way, which is to CD into the ports directory. Let's say you want to install nano or something, nano editor, you'd CD into that, into that folder. You would uh, do as or sudo make install, and then it will download the source code to your computer, uh, give you some options, you set the options, it compiles, and then it installs the program. It takes, takes some time. Especially some, you know, some programs take like multiple hours to compile, depending on your system. Um, so it's slow, but it's very customizable. But it might take you like two days to get your system up and running. Um, the more common, uh, more recent way to install programs is with PKG. PKG install, PKG install nano. Uh, and what it basically does is it just goes um, connects to the repository um, and downloads a a pre-made, pre-compiled binary package. And so um, all the options have been set to default and it takes seconds rather than hours or days. Um, and, and that's it. So there are two, there are two ways. Poudrier is, uh, like I said, it's a package repository builder. What it does is it, it creates a jail, uh, an environment on your system or a, or a protected file system on your system, file system within a file system. And, um, in fact, I can probably show you, I've already got it open over here. Um, oh, don't want to do that. Get out of that. Okay. Um, this is the, 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 if I come back over to here to the jail, this is the file system here within the file system. It's a jail. Um, and what Pudria does is it, um, it will download the source tree and then you set whatever packages you want made and it will it will uh, compile those packages um, within the jail, and then you can draw on those packages to install. So basically, you're you're doing the the old fashioned way, the ports way, but you're and customizing it the way you want it. But it's all local, and it's it's not going to cause any damage to your system. So because you don't want to combine compiled ports with pre made packages, it's not it's generally advised against because you'll end up with a messy system. Um, and it will probably cause breakages later on and problems. So now one of the things that um, I need on a, on a regular basis um, for my work, in fact, because um, I do a lot of uh, MP3 work and a lot of ID3 tagging is MP, uh, FFmpeg. Um, unfortunately, FFmpeg, and if you run it just like that, you can see what's been disabled and what's been um, enabled by default. Um, if I do PKG info FFmpeg, is a, actually it's easy to read, but you can see one of the things that is um, that most people need if they're using FFmpeg that's disabled by default is lame, and lame is MP3 support, and I think it's because of licensing restrictions they can't do that. Um, it's really frustrating because it's you know it's such an important. I mean everyone uses MP3s, or most people do. Um, Another one that I use is Pulse Audio and uh, XCB. I use that for screencasts. So um, by default, it's all disabled, and I need it. Um, as you can see, this has come from my Pudria uh, repository and not FreeBSD. Like if I do PKG info, um, I don't know, what's a different one? Vim. It'll show you that it's come from the FreeBSD repository. And the FreeBSD repository is... Um, basically coming from this URL here, it downloads that, um, that package from that URL and, and installs it that way. So then, you know, in, in order to um, download from your, instead of downloading from the FreeBSD um, repository, you just um, 
basically set up a repo file where you tell it to, to, to take, to use a local re repository, enable it, set a priority. Um, and also you can just, oh, I didn't, anyway, you can disable, you can disable the FreeBSD um, repository if you want to and just, and just use the Pudria repository. Um, but yeah, like I, I kind of, I just turn that on when I need it and then turn it off again. Um, enable it rather and then disable it. So, um, yeah, so, uh, it also has a front end, a web front end here. You need to have a web, um, a web server running. This is my little quick reference guide that I typed up. Just kind of help me out. Um, and I just, I just add a server block to my Nginx configuration on port 8,000. So um, whenever I'm running, whenever I'm compiling my ports in Pudria, um, I can just come in here and I can sort of see where it's at, how many it's got queued. Um, very handy. So I might just try and um, let's see if I can show you it in action in case you haven't seen it before. Um, I'll get rid of these and I'll add in nano. Is it editors? I think it's editors, right? Yeah, editors. Cool. Um, nano. And then, okay. And then if I... Uh, let me just set the options. So it gives me a couple of options there. Let's say I just want, I want... I don't want the docs or the examples or the native language support. I don't want any of that. Okay. Set the options. Um, run bulk. That's it there. Now you can watch that, or you can come over here and you can press Control T. Gives you a bit of information on what's happening, uh, or you can come over here, and it will actually, as you can see, it tells you what's happening. It tells you the status right now, which is fetch. So it's fetching it. Um, if you just wait, see now it's configuring it, and it, since it's such a small package, it should um, a small port. It should it should move quickly. So now it's building nano. Let's wait. There you go. Done. Success. So that's done now. That's um it's completed. And if you click here, you can actually watch the log. You can tail this as well, so you can watch it in the terminal if you want to do that. Um, so that's it. Um, and then I can go ahead and um, like I like I just showed you before, I can set my repository. Um, and you know if I then if I set my repository to uh, to the Pudria repository and disable the, the FreeBSD repository, I'm not going to do it right now, um, and then did PKG install nano, it will actually, in fact, let me just try this and see if it... Oh, there you go. So, see, now it's, um, it's going to install my... Pudria, my my locally created nano package, instead of the um, the one that's on the FreeBSD server, and that will be my with my customized options of removing documents and um, documentation examples and native language support. So yeah, that's that's Pudria in a nutshell. I'll I'll do another video. I mean, if anyone wants, if anyone's interested in in more of a tutorial type video on how to set it up. Um, I'm happy to do that. Let me know in the comments. Um, I've got, like I said, I've, I just created a little quick reference guide for myself. It's pretty straightforward. Like I've, I've got what, 10 steps here. Um, it's really not that hard to set up. Um, and there, there are tons of good tutorials. The handbook is pretty straightforward on it, but if, um, you know, I don't know if, uh, if tutorials interest people, but I'm, I'm happy to do something like that. If, um, if you're interested. So yeah, one of the big selling points of FreeBSD, if you're coming over from Linux, this is awesome. Um, thanks guys.